Hello YouTube, today's video is gonna be covering something very very interesting Of course the main star of the video is gonna be the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra The Exynos Edition, but before we start I wanna show you something There is a website called Don't Kill My Application Which also has a version for Android It's an actual application you can download As you can read here, Don't Kill Apps make them work Android manufacturers listed below prefer battery life over proper functionality of your application this practically means that the RAM management and the whole device and performance management battery management as well is getting so aggressive right that sometimes some of these developers are just killing your applications in the background to just make room space whatever free resources for other apps and as you can see Samsung are notoriously famous and heading this chart here standing in the first place right Samsung really has the lowest rating in terms of how aggressive Samsung is killing your application right now this site is not really updated in the last few months so people might expect that things change with Android 12 but yeah let me tell you a story they did not so I am making this video guys because I think I found a way how you can circumvent this, how you can really get through this, right? And actually, it is relying on Samsung stock functionality. And before I just show you how you can prevent your system of killing your applications in the background, right? Refreshing them. I want to show you what exactly this means, what is the default behavior. Now have in mind, I'm running the S22 Ultra, the 12 GB RAM version, which means that if you're using a device with 8 GB, 6, 4, whatever, it's going to be even worse. All right, so for the purpose of this test, guys, I have started several applications, and I'm just going to show them to you. Right, the first one is going to be YouTube. What we're going to be, oh, see? This is actually, guys, YouTube just being refreshed in the background, okay? And what I'm going to be doing in this video, right, I'm going to choose something random, like, okay, let me just choose a video, like a random video. So, okay, I am choosing now Bruce Dickinson, okay? Remember, YouTube is now opened on Bruce Dickinson, okay? This is the first application that I've opened. The second one is the Samsung Galaxy Store, going down to the last page where I have the game plugin. So, this is application number two, okay? Then, I have Play Store. In this section, best games and etc. Then we're gonna go next. Next is Instagram again being refreshed, and you are now experience part of the issue. So let's scroll down to a picture that is very easily remembered. All right. So okay. Yep. This one. A lady dressed in a red dress now every time i'm moving away from this application switching to another one and going back to it there is a very high chance that the one ui is going to refresh my application meaning that instagram will be like loaded new right and i will actually lose this post and maybe guys i left it like this and i had to do something very quick and the time i want to go back to it it's already gone which is very very frustrating okay so i then open spotify again just being refreshed so i'm gonna do right now opening spotify on the daft punk homework one of the best albums out there, one of my top albums, then also Google Now, let's try to choose this one, it's something we can easily remember, then I have Facebook, okay, so let's just open something that's easy for us to remember, all right, so let's go, yeah, let's go for this, guys, I think this meme is something that we can easily remember, all right, and then I have my Eon Player, right, open just all my TV programs, and then I have Snapchat, what I'm gonna do, we're gonna go to some content I can easily remember, okay, this one, this guy in the parachute, all right, so, then I have TikTok, all right, I had a guy playing a ball, not anymore, so uh, this is very, very, very frustrating, so let's just go again and choose something we can remember, okay, let's choose something we can easily remember, all right, then I think, yeah, this dog in a pool, and then guys, I have mixed cloud. Okay, Miss Cloud, let's try to choose the Magic Monday. So now for me to illustrate, to show you the issue, I'm going to cycle through all these applications and the goal here is to just see if we're gonna get back at the state we left them. All right, so first thing is gonna be YouTube and then we have Bruce Dickinson. All right, I would say application was not refreshed. Then we have the Galaxy Store, okay. At the same state, all right, we're starting good. Play Store, okay, good, same state. Then we have this lady in the red dress, Okay, not refresh, which is actually quite good. Then we have Spotify and Daft Punk. Okay, same state. Then we have the Google Now. All right, still the same state. Then we have the Facebook. Okay, at the same picture or meme. Then we have my TV player. All right, the state is not changed. Then I have this guy with a shoot. Yep, see, Snapchat had been just refreshed, so okay. And then I have this dog in a pool in TikTok. Okay, this was not refreshed. So I will open now some 
RAM demanding applications like some games and we're gonna start this one more time. Now that I have opened these two very demanding games, the Apex Legends Mobile and also the FIFA, I'm gonna cycle through all the applications again and let's see if they will be reloaded with the previous state. So YouTube, we expect Mr. Dickinson. All right, nice job, okay. Then we have the Samsung Galaxy Store, okay, still nice job. Then we have the Play Store, still not refresh. This is really impressive. Then we have the Instagram, okay, still the same. Then we have the Spotify, okay, still doing great. Then we have the Google Now, okay. Then we have Facebook, still the same. Then we have Eon, still the same. Then we have this guy in the shoot, uh, okay, see? Now this has been refreshed, okay. Now back to the guy in the shoot, okay, so. Snapchat was refreshed, now let's go back to TikTok. Yep, TikTok refreshed as well. So let's try now to memorize, okay, I'm gonna put it like this, okay. And now let's open also Mixcloud to see what will happen with the Magic Monday. See, Mixcloud guys now also being refreshed. And this is to illustrate part of the issue. So it is not a big deal, but it can get pretty annoying especially if you are relying on this application to do something in the background. Now, of course, don't expect a silver bullet, but there is something called the Good Guardians, right? And I do mention this a lot in my videos, because inside you can find some very nice modules, like the Battery Tracker, the Battery Guardian, the Galaxy Up Booster, which I do use all the time after firmware upgrades, Thermal Guardian to set up the temperate thresholds, getting more heat, making the phone a bit more powerful, and guys, memory guardian and this is what i want to share with you today guys when you click inside memory guardian you're going to get a let's say more professional ram management tool you're going to get the statistics with all of your applications running right now how much of this is used and etc you get this advanced statistics how much memory is available how much of this is cached how much of this is running right now and how much of this is system reserved this by the way also explains why when you have 12 gigabytes of ram you can only access 10 right and this tool is pretty pretty nice you can also clean it now like if i press clean now i'm gonna kill all the open applications so i have fifa mobile using half a g i have the one year at home which is the launch i have the facebook the tiktok and everything else the apex legend by the way as well etc but guys something very 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 important we have a tab called customize right and that's really weird because you don't have like a settings tab you're able to exclude some application but no settings but once you click the customize tab you're going to get access to this thing called the default mode or the quick switching mode so right now i'm using the default mode and this is pretty much optimized for let's say most of the users out there but what will happen if i go and click the quick switching mode keep more applications in the background and although again this is not a silver bullet guys it will still optimize this experience if you're looking for something like this so when using the previously used application again it is more likely to run with the last state of the app not starting it from the beginning which is this annoying refresh so what i'm gonna do right now you get it right i'm gonna hit the apply button guys all right and we're gonna be starting all over again then we have the google now Still no refresh, okay, quite nice. Then we have the Magic Monday. Should we see it? Mm, yeah, okay, cool, this is at least a win. No refresh on the Magic Monday. Then we have Mr. Bruce Dickinson still there, rocking his things, which is quite, quite nice to see. All right, then we have the Galaxy Store, still in the last state, okay. Now let's open Facebook. Okay, cool, very quickly. Now let's try to open uh, Instagram again, it's there. Now let's try to go for TikTok, okay, no refresh at all. And now let's try to open guys Snapchat. See, Snapchat is always very difficult. Yep, it is refreshed again. So Snapchat potentially cannot be saved from this, but all the other applications are really saving their state as you can just see. Let's try to choose something else. Yeah, let's go and choose this one, right? So that we can easily see that one and just try this one more time. So Play Store, right, it's still there. Then let's try to check the Eon. Still there, by the way, quite nice. Let's now try to check the Mixcloud, Magic Monday. Yep, Magic Monday, so Mixcloud not refreshed. Then let's try to open Spotify one more time. Okay, still the same. Let's now go for Snapchat. Yep, this time was not refreshed, right? Now let's try to go to TikTok. Okay, cool, Snapchat, all right, TikTok. See, 
they are all saved in the memory and we are able to access them with the latest state. Now let's open Facebook, okay? I am not promising you the silver bullet, but I think switching from the default to the quick switching mode can help you with the application background refresh. And if you were not aware about this and you like the video, then guys, see here, I have something done by my son. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Please, you and your family stay safe until we meet in one of the next videos. And with that said, DST over and bye.